Okay, rather than go through the whole process of doing this uh, hammer and uh, nipple thing, I'm going to just use what I had on the other rifle. I just cut it off the other rifle. I got to do some trimming up here. Time to play with some clay. This is where you wish you'd have gone about three times bigger. <laughs> this is almost impossible to try to match. I'm trying a, to use a different <sighs> Even with my magnifiers on, this is hard to see. I'm just trying to back up the trigger guard on the back part of it.
sort of like heart surgery here. Oh, this is killing my back. So is this rifle perfect? Not by any means, but it's better than it was. God, they're real careful with this area now because that's delicate clay all right i got two bands to put onto the uh ramrod that hold it in place okay there are two of these bands i'm going to try to show it Man, is that perfect or not? No, it's not. But it's going to have to do for now. And uh, i got just a little sculpting to do on this uh, part of the stock. Okay, I'm going to probably make the worst mistake of my life. And that's going to be attaching this permanently to the uh, clay. I gotta see how this looks all the way around. You really get the feel of him moving in the saddle as I look at this in the round. Like he's standing up in his saddle against the wind and he's trying to see maybe up over a, a rise or I don't know. Just use your imagination. That's why I sculpt this type of work is to create a story in your mind that every time you look at it you got a different story going on this is going to have to be it for now on this piece i'm not going to waste any more time on it until i get some interest i'm going to hold off on finishing up this piece it's got about another week's worth of work on it if you like this video please like and subscribe to my channel it really would help me also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Get out of here, buddy.